talk a little bit about so from the thousand islands um we we know we were then sort of set out to to head towards um uh, well through northern ontario through highway 17 west which is along lake superior is the route that we chose and um man i uh, you know people say to you ontario's big and you have <laughs> You have no idea. I mean, we began, you know, we're taking the advice of a lot of full-timers where, you know, we're generally, we're driving maximum 400 kilometers a day. We're getting off. We've made a couple of mistakes where, you know, we didn't get off the road, you know, early enough. Um, and we're gonna tell you about that in a second here. <laughs> we are in the dark and we got ourselves into a lot of trouble, but you know, when you're only doing three or 400 kilometers a day and getting off the road by three o'clock, I mean, you begin to believe you will never get out, get out of Ontario. <laughs> like it is a massive province. And most people think about Ontario as Toronto, but I mean, it's obviously much, much bigger than, than, you know, it's than that. I mean, you just drive and drive and drive. I mean, we entered into, Ontario on the Friday. Now, mind you, we stayed in the Thousand Islands area for three or four days. We can't remember how many. Five. And then we didn't, it was two weeks, wasn't it? When by the oh, time, yeah. 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 So, I mean, you know, we were two weeks and, you know, we stayed for a few days, but then no other spot longer than one night. And we were two weeks in Ontario. Um, I think people don't think of it as well because usually the U.S. borders open and they don't have to go the long way around the lakes, right? Yeah. There's, there's a shorter way to go if the U.S. borders open, but right, we weren't right. able to do that. Yeah. Now, look, I mean, it was... Um, spectacular. It was spectacular. I mean, it, you know, this country of ours, uh, you know, if you're Canadian... Uh, uh, be grateful. We are so blessed in this incredible country that we uh, live in. If you're an American, uh, I know you equally have beautiful, uh, you know, coastal areas, and mountain areas, but, you know, book a trip and, and drive across Canada. It's absolutely spectacular. And, and the fall was especially so, yeah. right? The colors were just turning as we well, were going through. Yeah, and we experienced, I mean, you know, along the way, like once you get through Toronto and Barrie, and then you start to head a bit north, um, you know, we like for example, we didn't plan on staying in Sault Ste. Marie, mm. um, um, but we stayed in Sault Ste. Marie. Like when we got there, it was so spectacular. Probably the nicest campground we've ever stayed in. Ever, uh, even in childhood, I'd never seen a campground yeah, that nice. We went to the the Bush Plane uh, Museum, which was super cool. We both got to get in uh, cockpits <laughs> and uh, climb around on airplanes. I mean, when I like, I'm an aviation geek, so when you know when I found out you could actually climb into the airplanes, it was like, oh my gosh, it was. Uh, it was pretty pretty amazing. And I'm not, and I still enjoyed it. Yeah, and Patty, <laughs> yeah. Patty's not and still enjoyed it. But before that, we almost forgot. We did have, we've had a poo explosion, and then we had a little issue. Uh, <laughs> you know, one of the things about traveling with your rig is if you're hungry or you need to use the washroom, you can, uh, you know, you can pull over anywhere um, and do that. So we needed to, you know, get a coffee or maybe use the washroom. We pulled over and we noticed a little bit of a leak. Um, and uh, so, look, these rigs, we did buy a brand new unit. Uh, we love our unit. I love the unit. I think Patty. Too loves the unit but these rigs are going to have some issues and uh, so we did have uh, in the end what Ooh. turned out to be a, a pipe that had either cracked on our holding tank so that's uh, for those of you that aren't RVers that's where all your number one and number two go so you can imagine that was pretty messy um, but you know what we were I think from the time we discovered it um, which was, you know, maybe lunchtime one day. Mm -hmm. The next day by five o'clock, we were fixed and ready to, to hit the road again. And um, so really want to thank, uh, you know, the folks that helped us out. We were in, um, where were we? Where were we when we had to stop? Just outside of Sudbury. Yeah, so we were just outside of Sudbury, which is kind of neat. That's my dad's hometown uh, where my dad was born. Maybe dad wanted us to stop in Sudbury. We saw the, what did we see there? The biggest the, nickel. The big nickel. <laughs> uh, some nickel mining in Sudbury. Um, and uh, that's where we found a spot uh, through uh, our dealer did um, have a connection in the area, thankfully, because everyone was very busy. I wish we um, could remember that name, though, because yeah, they we, were wonderful. We will insert it in the video so that you know uh, they were they were excellent. They really Gave helped us. Gave us a place us. to stay. 
stay? We stayed in the yard. Um, and and they, power. And power and all those things. So, but you know, uh, back to, to Ontario, I get, it was, to me, there were moments were so emotional when, when you're driving and the colors, as Patty said, were so spectacular, especially on the Sault Ste. Marie end, you know, bright red and orange, and we're gonna show you a lot of that in, in our video. Um, and then all of a sudden you come to Lake Superior and it opens up, like I, I almost started to cry one time, like it's so beautiful. Um, me too, when I found the sea glass. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> which yeah, is not sea glass. Yeah, so I mean, we're we're we live next to the Bay of Funday and the the Atlantic Ocean, and we're used to oceans. And to see this is just uh, just spectacular. This lake, I, th I can't remember exactly. I think it's forty eight thousand square, or eighty thousand square kilometers, or something. Lake Superior. Ma lake though. Superior is yep. sorry. It's just so it's massive. If you've never seen it, and you know, um, yeah, these magical experiences, waterfalls, and and I think one of the me one of the messages we'd have for you if you're going to travel anywhere in your car or anywhere take your time don't plan as big a trip plan a shorter trip and stop we stopped at waterfalls and we stopped at beaches and and we stopped at old, 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 old woman bay. old woman's bay just a spectacular big sandy beach and and only patty could do this on a freshwater lake um, on uh, this beautiful uh, big beach and Patty goes for a walk and what did you find? I found lake glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beach glass. Beach glass. Lots so. of people find beach glass on Lake Superior but usually on the Michigan side it's what I understand so I think it was really interesting to find it in the middle of nowhere too which yeah. was cool. Yeah. So And well know. done. Patty goes for a walk for, you know, 30 minutes on the beach. I made some sandwiches, uh, did a bit of drone footage, which we'll show you. And she comes back with a handful of, uh, of uh, Lake Superior glass. It was, it was pretty, pretty Very cool. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So. Hey Stevie, we're both up there now. 
maybe this time. When we first meet Stevie Bud, she's a sarcastic motel clerk who always has a dry remark ready for the roses, but never enough towels. Over the years, sweet, 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 how can it be? Bye, son. Bye, I'll see you soon. We've watched this family grow like literal roses, and although they're all starting promising new chapters, we were not ready to say goodbye. Just wanted one last look. Driver, we're ready. If the updated town sign is any indication, though, the roses will always be a part of Schitt's Creek.
so here's the thing. Our last stop, we stopped to pee and flush the toilet and all of a sudden everything underneath the rig was draining onto the ground. Uh, so we've come to a wastewater station to dump again to see um, if something is going on because uh, although we dumped everything yesterday, one of our gray tanks was showing that it was still full last night and we're not really sure why because it should have been next to empty. So we are here and we are trying to figure out, of course, nothing's leaking, I'll show you. We had three different spots that was were leaking something at our last stop. So I'm just gonna go over here and see how happy Donald is about uh, this stop. How happy are you with this stop, Donald? <laughs> yeah. Want to come get a close-up? <laughs> no. One thing I wanted to share with you about uh, the troubles that we had with our uh, septic system, our black tank and our RV, is that all of this happened around Sudbury, Ontario. And um, we had no intention of stopping in Sudbury. Uh, in the end, we ended up having uh, uh, quite a nice uh, day in Sudbury, touring around. Sudbury is the nickel belt, nickel mining. Uh, so we toured around Sudbury. But even more interesting, Sudbury is my dad's hometown. So, uh, you know, uh, my dad passed away a number of years ago now, but in a, in a strange way, I thought maybe uh, uh, dad uh, intervened in a strange way for us and wanted us to tour his hometown. So I drove around, we drove around in Sudbury for the day wondering, hmm, I wonder where dad lived and what was the street and we tried to figure some of those things out. So uh, anyway, a bit of an intervention for us. Uh, we ended up um, getting looked after by uh, um, folks uh, in the local area at a local RV shop and, uh, and got to visit my dad's hometown even though we hadn't originally planned to do that. So anyway, uh, we enjoyed our visit to Sudbury and the giant nickel and, uh, and uh, seeing the history around Sudbury. Ontario.
can't describe this magic in the air The world has come alive And when I see you, you make my pulse rise I never knew that I could be so hypnotized There's something near your touch, baby The way your body's moving me And I don't know where this soul will go Oh, no My feet. If I don't try now, the chance will slip away I'll bury all my doubts and I won't be afraid There's something I could never see Now my heart is open and I believe And I don't know where this soul will go Oh, nobody knows oh. Touch, baby, the way that your body is moving me, and I don't know where this all will go. Oh, nobody knows. Oh. Highway 17 West in Ontario has just been incredible. I've never seen Lake Superior before. 83,000 square kilometers. Um, the highway is fantastic. The views, the foliage uh, in the fall here. Today's October the 2nd. And uh, we were just driving down the road. We had to go up the road about four kilometers to do a turnaround and, uh, you know, hauling our big rig. And we are at Old Woman Bay and what an incredible sight. We are having a blast, um, you know, just uh, stopping when we want to stop and taking in the scenery. And uh, I'll turn the camera around here in a second and show you uh, Old Woman Bay. It's absolutely spectacular. Here we go. So there you are, Old Woman Bay. What an incredible sight beautiful huge beach on Lake Superior. I mean really coming from the East Coast it reminds us of the ocean. It really feels like we're on the ocean here. Uh, so 83,000 square kilometer uh, lake and this is Old Woman Bay so definitely worth turning around for. There's Patty and Gus. Look at this. Wow we
Okay, what'd you think, Patty? Where are we? Old Woman Bay. I Old think. Woman Bay. I, um, and you need to go hi, down some. Highway 17 to West. Show oh. That I got oh. my first beach glass. It's done as well as the sea, but I got it here in Lake Superior. Pretty incredible. Patty is an avid, avid beach glass collector, so finding beach glass here is uh, pretty, pretty cool. Old Woman Bay uh, on Highway 17 West heading towards uh, uh, Thunder Bay. We have Gus here with us who's pulling the arms out of. Uh, our arms out of the socket, absolutely incredible. Big bay, big uh, sandy beach, uh, rocky sandy beach, need worth to look the stop. For it. Yeah. You need to look for it. Old Woman Bay, if you're heading towards Thunder Bay or heading towards Sault Ste. Marie, uh, make sure you put it on your stop. It was incredible.